You first want to start off by getting three packages of these clothespins that you could get from Dollar Tree. You can also pick up some clothespins from Walmart, wherever you can find them. So now to be able to color the clothespins or stain them, I'm just using this large Ziploc bag. I'm spraying some water inside and I'm using the color Burnt Umber. This is also an acrylic paint you could get from Walmart. And once I have a generous amount of the acrylic paint and some water in that Ziploc bag, you wanna just give it a nice shake before putting the clothespins right in. And I used a total of 39 clothespins to stain in this color. So I just throw them all inside of the Ziploc bag. Again, give it a really nice shake until all the clothespins are completely saturated. Once complete, you wanna just dump those clothespins right out and allow those to completely dry. So now I got this 14 inch wreath form, also from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be placing the clothespins on there in a staggered fashion. So first you wanna start by placing one on the bottom two wires. Make sure that clothespin is all the way down as far as it'll go. And then for the next one, you want to place another one onto the middle two wires of the wreath form. And as you could tell, it's going to have this nice staggered look. I'm just gonna show you this process again. So grab that other clothespin, place it on the bottom two wires of that wreath form. And then the next one is going to be placed right into the middle two wires of that wreath form. And then you just wanna do this until the wreath form is completely covered in the clothespins. And once complete, you should have something that looks like this. And for the record, I did end up using a total of 78 clothespins for this wreath form. So now I'm using these one gallon paint stir sticks and I'm only going to be using four of these sticks. So I'm just aligning them all together and I'm going to be cutting up some regular craft sticks in half so that way they will fit on the back of the paint stir sticks. And I just hot glued those craft sticks right onto the back so it will hold the paint stir sticks all together. And now I have a little sign to work on. So first I'm just placing some more of that burnt umber right onto the paint sticks and I'm just using a baby wipe to apply that paint all throughout and this leaves you with a nice stained wood look. Next, I used my Cricut machine to cut out this stencil. So I'm just placing it right on top of those paint sticks. You just wanna make sure that it's all smoothed out and there are no air bubbles. So definitely use that Cricut scraper tool for this step. And once it was all smoothed out, I just peeled off that transfer tape. And then to go over the stencil, I'm just using some black chalk paint with a dabber. So you wanna just put a generous amount, but you don't want it to be too thick on the dabber because it could lead to some bleeding. So put the dabber inside of the paint, take some of that excess off, and then just begin dabbing all throughout the stencil until it is completely filled in. And once that is complete, you wanna just allow that chalk paint to completely dry. And then you could go ahead and do the big peel and reveal, which is my favorite part. And I just absolutely love how this came out. So now to be able to attach the sign to the wreath, I'm just using my staple gun to staple down some pipe cleaners on the back of the sign. Find a good placement on that wreath form and then just poke those pipe cleaners right through the wires of the wreath form. Flip it upside down and give it a nice twist. 
And there you go, guys. I hope this inspired you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you guys so, so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.